Guten Tag, ich bin Sprite 145 and sorry that was a very random introduction but I felt like mixing up and doing a German introduction because that's how I roll. Now anyway, um, I've actually got a topic I want to talk about for once rather than just crap. So I'm gonna preach and I might sound a bit like your parents but that's what I want to talk about. Now, what I'm going to talk about is sort of a mix of psychology amongst other things, as well as hard work and so forth. We're going to talk about how I think it is, is no one in life is born to fail, no matter their age, gender, race, family background or their friendship circle. By that I mean, I believe that everyone's born equally and can do equally as well as the next person in life given the right opportunities given that they work hard for themselves if that makes some sort of sense I also believe that underachieving not reaching your potential slacking off will make you your own worst enemy because at the end of the day you can't blame anyone but yourself if you did, did badly in your exams or your coursework. You didn't put enough effort in or whatever, so it's your fault. That's just what I believe. Other people might think differently. At the end of the day, it all comes down to how well you do in your GCSEs or foreign equivalent. The exams that you do when you're 16. Well, 15 and 16, your final two years of secondary school or high school if I'm not mistaken. If you do well in them, you've pretty much given yourself a free choice of college courses or sixth form courses depending on your choice and or country. But now we move on to the psychological side of things a bit. Um, Although, yes, you want to pick good, solid um, A-levels or B-tech or whatever that is interesting to you, that you want and will hopefully help you get the university course you want, get the job you want. For example, there is no point doing a PE exam or a PE A-level or a sport A-level or something if you want to go into, I don't know, medicine. There's just no point. If you wanted to go into medicine, you'd choose stuff like biology or human biology, and then further that with a degree at university. You want to pick subjects that are interesting to you, not what your friends want you to do. Because you might be crap at them, and then you've wasted two years of education now. Also pick ones that you know you're good at, not just because it sounds fun. And now I am beginning to sound like your teacher and or parents. You know, I personally speaking, I picked GCSEs that I thought would help me to an extent. I chose GCSE Geography. Um, I believe French was my main language and German was the option. That's just the way my school did it. I don't know why I chose dual languages. To this day, I will never know. But at the time, I enjoyed it. I had fun. And that's one of the main things. I was motivated. My teachers helped me. I helped myself, I didn't really slack off in the lessons. French maybe more than German, I enjoy German a lot more. Because the German grammar I find easier than the French, with all the le, la, le. It just doesn't get to me, but... End of the day, I enjoyed it. I got B out of it at the end of my GCSEs. I was happy with that. But... Then... I probably did what I've just been telling you not to do and um, 
I followed I didn't follow my own advice I kind of listened to my teachers more than my heart my teachers wanted me to do German because I did so well at it and they thought oh he'll, he'll be good at it at A level I was shit at it at A level I had no motivation I hated my teacher and in all honesty A level German or AS level German I bunked three quarters of the lessons because I was that demotivated and well that's just life if you're not motivated to do anything this works just as well in sport if you're not motivated to do well in or you're not motivated you don't enjoy the um, sport you're doing you your performance decreases drastically so it all makes sense really you don't enjoy something you're not going to want to do it anymore are you in all fairness I kind of chose some interesting AS levels psychology and sociology but again I didn't get on with the teacher that well in sociology so I kind of bunked the lessons and failed the exams but that's my own doing because I did not work hard for that I didn't enjoy it but because I slacked slightly at GCSE level and didn't revise to my full potential and achieve my full potential I was kicking myself at the end of first year of A levels when I was told I wasn't allowed back but you know looking back at it now it's in the past and I yeah made a mistake I didn't revise I could be in my final year of college now thinking about universities and stuff but no I'm at a new college studying a BTEC in sports science and I love it why because I enjoy sport the science side of it the theoretical side of it is actually very interesting and it's probably the best thing I've ever done in my life really I get along well with all my lecturers I get along well with the class as well which is another thing and we're gonna sort of relate working hard and perseverance and not giving up to my last upload which was the intervention new those of you that watched it, um, as Aegis, I believe, and Bullfrog commented, um, that I was, I don't know, good for not rage quitting after being buzz killed or killed on um, eleven, uh, an eleven streak and a nine streak when 9 is my lowest uh, kill streak for a nuke and sort of I just carried on didn't rage quit sort of said right you know what we'll try a bit harder next time if we get at this game then just shows that I actually can work hard for things that makes sense and multiple confirmed kills nice work you know the end of the day we did it which we got the nuke last minute it's a bit difficult to relate real life to a tactical nuke and modern warfare 2 but you get the idea if you work hard towards something you can achieve it no matter who you are or where you come from I don't believe in stereotyping chavs or whatnot and saying that they're going to underachieve just because boom, they're chavs and stuff. If they work hard, they can achieve just as well as any other person. But that's sort of my mini preach about life. I'll come up with more. Uh, Sprite145 and 